Okay, I'm back. I had a few more things to say. I don't even know how I managed to uh, get in this position of doing filming because, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't, uh, it's tough for me. So, maybe I'll get the hang of it through time. These videos, my videos will be better and better. Uh, mainly this is just for our memories, uh, how this all started. Of course, you missed the whole part where this dream was first born. On a, on a little lake in the middle of the desert, Phoenix, Arizona, on a Catalina 22-foot sailboat that Emery and I both purchased together. And from then on, it was, uh, it was game on. She found a love for sailing. I rekindled a fire uh, love for sailing that I had when I was younger. And now here we are. We're buying a 45.2-foot Genoa sailboat that's got now the listing says it was turnkey ready to go they meant that that was that was true uh, turnkey ready to go is putting it mildly uh, everything this the, the only thing this boat is missing is food uh, food and water and maybe some a little bit of beer uh, so fact that uh, we're probably saving tens of thousands of dollars just on the little things that we would need if not now later on down the road we'd end up just spending probably a lot more than what's on here right now just in, uh, in gear safety equipment uh, equipment that just uh, is gonna help with the comfort of a sail of cruising long distances I, uh, th this boat has everything that uh, I can't I can't even imagine there's things on here that this boat is equipped with that I never thought of we would need could need or would want and once going through this boat with the current donors now it's unbelievable we are this is this is first class top-notch all the way you know this would have never happened without God without constant prayer without the strength of God and, and to overcome some of the things that we've had to overcome in our lives, not only my life, but Namory's life. Uh, so I thank God, and I'll thank God every single day, every minute, every morning I wake up. Uh, it's a gift, it's a blessing, and just all by the grace of God that we have this. Um, so we intend to, we intend to share this. We intend to share this kind of love, and uh, be sure to share where it came from, because it wasn't us. We didn't do this. I couldn't have done this on my own. We couldn't have done this together just as two human beings. There's definitely a higher power here. God himself has made this happen. So we're going to go back to the boat now. It's located through those doors in this marina. I think we might take it down to Ensenada. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot more affordable down there for a slip than it ever is down here in San Diego. Uh, it's just you know, a dime on the, on the dollar. So probably keep it up here for a little bit and then until we're ready to set sail for Florida we're going to keep it in Ensenada Mexico or Mazatlan if we could have the time off work to get it down there uh, Ensenada from San Diego here we're looking at uh, probably a, a couple days two days taking our time and get down there we'll get a slip for 200 bucks versus okay it's me Jimmy again let's give you an update what's going on and how's it going so we did the mechanical survey earlier this morning. You saw a piece of that earlier. Uh, that went really well. He tried his hardest to find something wrong, but still couldn't. A couple minor things that we're gonna take care of in the future, not a big deal. Uh, marine sea trials, sails are great. Everything's operating just fine. Uh, made it back to the marina. Marine surveyor is still tearing the boat apart inside trying his best to find something that's wrong. I have a pretty good feeling that he won't. Um, and if, you know, if he does, then we'll handle it from there. Uh, but until then, we're going through the operating of the dinghy. You'll, you'll see that uh, video there, how to raise and lower the dinghy. Uh, I told you about the, oh, I told you about the pack. Uh, I was raising the anchor for the first time and the clevis for the anchor was uh, you know, turned backwards. And of course, 
uh, I went to go lower it. And when I lowered it, I lowered it too, too much, too fast, and it swung right into the bow of the boat. Left a nice little chip in there. So that was, that was heartbreaking. You know, having, you know, don't even really officially own it yet, but uh, uh, by doing that, I think we pretty much said, hey, we're buying it. And we, we just put a big old chip in your boat. Well, we'll buy it. Uh, so now I gotta go up there and use the washroom because we just emptied the head out there in the, in the ocean and didn't want to fill it up with pee again. So I'm gonna go up here and use the washroom real fast. This is just all so, so much and so, so exciting. Uh, got a little bit of footage of Anne-Marie uh, at, the, at the helm. That was really exciting. Yeah, she was motoring, motoring right along. She looked like a natural. Uh, uh, I like the, the expression on her face was, was happiness. Uh, that really means a lot to me. And, and of course she means the world to me. And so her happiness is my happiness. Um, so this is a whole different world and we'll continue on filming. I'll continue on updating. not going to believe this uh, on our sea trial I'm testing out the anchor and of course I had to get the one one dink out of the way uh, raising the anchor I decided uh, I wanted to swing the anchor into the bow left a nice chip on the boat uh, I just felt my I just felt my stomach up in my throat about made me sick felt really bad for it but I, I think uh, I think that we got that out of the way I think we'll be okay I think she still loves me. I love her. Mm. So this is it. This is her up in the air. Uh, getting the marine survey, checking the hull. She's beautiful. Nobody's here, nice. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get a, it probably won't fill up, but yeah. at least we can get it out and get it back in, right? Yeah. 